My name is Sanjeet Pandit. I head up the Smart Cities practice here at Qualcomm Globally. With me today is my colleague, Ashok. Hello. Let's start with a first view of how the command and control center looks as a standalone. You see multiple cards on top. These are the verticals that are there, right, from parking, building energy management, security, smart transportation, complete outdoors and lighting, asset tracking, smart waste management, digital twin of the entire campus, and a complete collaboration and workflow. Qualcomm Smart Parking Solution includes Edge AI-based camera solutions for parking spot detection, and also the automatic number plate recognition to detect the cars entering into the parking garage. In addition to that, the, the smart parking solution gives you a trend analysis of how the parking lot is used during the day. It also gives you data analytics on the occupancy and the usage of the parking structure through the various time periods. Also gives you the amount of hours saved because the employee and the occupants are now able to go to the parking spot directly. All the notifications of a violation or the availability comes in very seamlessly through these sensors and the cameras into the platform and visible to the knock center on a floor by floor basis for the whole parking garage. Another very important use case that we have implemented on campus is our tr smart transportation, our fleet management use case. In this case, we have equipped the Qualcomm shuttles that help the employees from commuting from one building to the other. We have equipped them with analytics and we have also with all the telematics uh, products that Qualcomm enables. Let's like, take a quick look at the shuttles. It tells you how many shuttles are currently moving ahead. It tells you the position and the location of the shuttle in the map. It also gives you the locations of and the occupancies in the total capacity as to how many were occupied. And also gives you notifications of anything that happens which is picked up by those cameras. This particular use case can be used or can be rendered to buses, cities, transportation companies all across the world. Waste management. We have multiple smart trash cans dispersed throughout our campus, which are solar powered, which are able to compact the trash automatically based on the detection of the fill levels and able to communicate that information via cellular service to the knock center. We have notifications from these trash bins that gives you the fill level. If there is a aberration, if somebody opened the trash can, or if there was a cleaning uh, schedule for the trash bins. One very unique aspect that we have implemented on campus is a digital twin. This is a combination of AI camera and LiDAR, both views stitched together in such a way that you could zoom in to one eighth of an inch accuracy and you could go in and then focus on any particular point of interest, thus like a camera here. And that camera, when you play, will play the video of what it's seeing real time. Gives you a complete visualization of the space that you're monitoring, the space that you're digitizing. When smart cities uh, started coming uh, to life and implementation started, the first implementation ha has always been smart outdoor lighting. These lights have become much more smarter. They not only tell you the watts consumed and the kilowatts consumed or saved, it gives you air quality index, it has air quality sensors, it has Wi-Fi hotspots in it, it has AI cameras that count number of people, also uh, work as surveillance and security. They also have notifications being sent out. And most important, these lights are now to a point that they are self-sufficient devices are a complete integrated package for a city to deploy. Well, I hope this demo gave you a clear idea of how Qualcomm deploys smart connected spaces and smart cities across the globe. We bring in 
the artificial intelligence and the IoT piece of it, calling it AIoT. And that is what the future is going to be. Thank you very much. Thank you.